Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Let's not waste any time. You guys are here. You guys want to see the tattoo. So let's get I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It's Now I'll put a picture on screen because you can't really see it and if if you can kind of see it's all um, at the moment peeling it's about a weekend it's all peeling it's still a bit red still a bit inflamed but if you look online that's perfectly normal so it's healing perfectly well I'm sure you guys have just like so many questions about it so let's try and answer them all just super quickly yeah so if you're wondering what it all means it's Captain America it's gonna be like a whole story from top to bottom so it doesn't really make sense at the moment because it's only like a quarter done so there's no point really explaining how it all ties together because it's only a quarter of the tattoo there's still plenty to go i'm doing the full arm that was always the thing why did i do this bit why did i just do this bit because i was planning on covering my birthmark well it's going to get covered anyways and just the way the tattoo was designed the tattoo artist was kind of like it's easier to build upwards rather than downwards in some cases depending on how it's going to look so in this instance it's easier to go top to bottom bottom to top so we'll get covered eventually not right now which is really weird because when i sit this is what i see when i look in the mirror However, when I'm sitting doing anything, I'm on my phone or playing Xbox or just anything, it's right, it's right there. I can see it constantly and it's still, still really weird. And I don't know, I don't know how long it's going to be to get like used to seeing, to seeing it. But yeah, it's all peeling at the moment. I don't want to touch it. So I did try and record a video and then I did record another video and then I tried to edit and I couldn't edit it because once I'd got it done, it was so swollen, I couldn't move my arm. Like without moving my elbow, obviously you can just twist your hand like that. So there's a lot of movement in this. This was swollen, that was swollen, so I couldn't bend my elbow, I couldn't do anything. So trying to edit and move my hand like that was a nightmare. I couldn't rest this on the table because it was so sore. So that's why I didn't get a video out last week. And then I was just gonna live stream on the day and just kind of do all this live to you guys and show you and things like this. And then I just ended up being ill. So it just was a disaster from start to finish. Now I did try and record <laughs> a bit, but to be honest, when I got there, all of that just went out of my head and I was just too busy concentrating on the fact that that was just for like five, six hours, I was just going to have a needle poked into my arm and I just filming wasn't really on my mind, but my tattoo artist who I asked if I could film, she was like, yeah, definitely. Cause she does YouTube, she does like tattoo tutorials on there. So like, if you're interested in that sort of stuff, go check her out. She also does like tattoo mentoring and like teaches tattoos. So if you're interested, go check her out, I'll leave the links in the description. But she reminded me a couple of times, like, I didn't, well, you wanted to film? And I was like, oh yeah, 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 film. So I'd film a little bit and then I'd just completely forget and was just sat there just enduring the pain the whole time. Cause it just, couldn't concentrate next time i'll try and film a bit more but like uh it went all right though the whole experience was fantastic it was great obviously like i said i sat for f i think it was about an hour and a half designing and then like five and a half hours actually tattooing and i'm not going to say it wasn't painful but then it wasn't like i could sit through it for five and a half hours so it clearly wasn't that painful but when you sat there it was it's it's, a, it's an endurance to get through trying to not get the dogs to stand on it because whenever i sat down i had to kind of like leave it flat and suspended obviously i couldn't put that side down i had to leave it this side up mainly just because i didn't want oil on all like my furniture and stuff like that but then for mine on the couch with my arm like this obviously the dogs can then just walk on top of it so like it was just it's it's been just an awful just in general the part excluding this it's just been an awful like past week and a bit it's just but we'll not get into that. If you don't follow me on Instagram, go follow me on Instagram. I'll leave a link down below. But um, I showed Stanley when I first got it done and he was not, he did not like it. He was not a fan. Pablo couldn't care less. Pablo just did his normal like, all right. And then he just wandered off, went back to sleep. Stanley was scared of my arm for a good two, three days. He just, he, he did not like it. He did not like it. Doesn't mind now. But yeah, I'm going to be bouncing backwards or forwards, but going back, designing it, obviously, I had the design mainly for this bit. This is the main bit that I had kind of properly designed, and then this I kind of just threw together because I was like, well, we'll sort that out a later date because this is the bit I want to do and this is the bit I'm going to get. And then when it was like, oh, we're actually doing this bit instead, it was like, 
Uh, they're in order one. Worked on it a little bit. Well, now we've kind of got this bit and then we've got most of the other side design. There's like a little bit down here we're not sure about. But honestly, I absolutely love it. The artwork itself is fantastic. Like the actual like detail is unbelievable there's one little bit i'm just unsure about and i'm always honest with you guys and obviously this is on my body forever and a lot of people are kind of like, there was a bit of a split when i asked you guys your opinions a lot of people like don't do it a lot of people like yeah you should go and do it and because obviously tattoos are a bit of a split thing well the thing is it's done now so you're just gonna have to accept that it. it's there it's always gonna be there and the rest of it will just get filled in at some point obviously i want it filled in sooner rather than later because i'm worried that i might not have the money later on down the line. I definitely don't want to... Anyways, the only thing I'm not sure about is this this bit here, the 4F, which I will explain in a later video. If anyone's a fan of Captain America, you'll understand and that's all that matters. This is such high intricate detail and then this is just like really blocked. With how the rest of it's going to turn out, it's all going to be this really high intricate detail and then you've just got this kind of like block at the bottom. Now that's what I asked for. And she done it fantastically, way better than I was wanting it done originally. Because of the way it's being done as well, means we can maybe fiddle about with it a little bit. But I'm maybe just gonna just put a bit of blending into it so it's not as. So I'll wait to see what it actually looks like once it's kind of all healed and done. And also, can I see what it looks like when I've got the rest on? Because it might be fine. Because obviously it's been a week, so I've showed a couple of people. People have seen it, and the first thing anyone asks is what's 4f because it's obviously just like it draws the eyes where the artwork of this is so good i don't want to draw away from it I, i'd like do you know what i mean i feel like it's pulling attention from the bit that's actually like really good hi quick interjection i just want to throw another point into the mix regarding this exact thing i've spoke to some more people people at work and stuff like that and i've kind of shown a lot more people and there's a general consensus regarding this now at a quick glance and kind of without seeing it properly and looking at it like fully, it does have a bit of a resemblance to a far right ideological political group that caused a little bit of bother between 1939 and 1945. Now, when I was designing the tattoo, I did make a conscious effort to not put anything Hydra related onto my arm because obviously it's a big part of Captain America's story, but I was a bit like, it's a bit close to the bone and people might not understand and that might look a bit wrong especially being blonde with blue eyes so we'll sort it out i did almost pass out after like 10 minutes of starting the tattoo now if you guys cast your minds back to when i got my mom to put like that fake tattoo on my arm the exact same thing happened then now it's weird because they're completely unrelated but also like completely related at the same time it's like the only two times i've put a tattoo on my arm i've almost passed out except one was an actual tattoo and one was just a sticker but obviously that's quite concerning because the first time it happened it was just like that's just a weird one-off thing it's happened again so obviously that's concerning for me um so i have to keep an eye on this to see if it's anything that's going to keep occurring but i think it was exactly the same as what happened last time maybe a lack of food maybe a bit of lack of sleep because obviously i couldn't sleep the night before i was like christmas I was like, oh my God, I'm go or whether it was just nerves or there's lots of things that could have contributed towards it, but I had a look online, obviously Googled almost symptoms, you know, hot flush, almost passing out, feeling dizzy, um, all this sort of stuff, and Google just kept coming back with the same answers, which was menopause. I'm, I'm gonna say now it probably isn't that, so... Maybe, I mean, I don't know. By acid to stop, got some water, got some food, 10 minutes later, absolutely fine continued on didn't feel anything like that again dead strange okay whatever and i actually just can't wait to finish it off which brings me to my next one which is my next appointment is like middle of march which is a long way away but obviously when i first booked this it, it's she's a very in demand talented artist so waiting lists are a long time so obviously that's the closest one i could get that was the next appointment available i should have came into this video with the plan i've been rambling for like almost 30 minutes so hopefully this isn't too long for you guys but i might not have to wait till march because he said that there's quite a lot of cancellations around christmas time and they can't like fill the slots quite like quickly because obviously people can't rearrange work or get there and because obviously christmas is busy so i might be able to sneak into somebody's cancellation slot maybe getting a bit sooner maybe in like kind of end of december january maybe hopefully fingers crossed but if that happens then hopefully I'll, I'll try and keep my march appointment so then i can use that as like my third or fourth or whatever but if not i'm gonna try and book more 
after that so then I kind of can have my next couple in quite quick succession next year. But anyways, there you go. So you'll probably be seeing this quite often in videos. It still is just like so weird that it's just so weird. It's just, it is, it's just really strange. But get used to it. It's there. It's going to be there forever. So thank you guys for watching. Like I say, it's not completely done yet. This is just like a work in progress. Like I say, we've got the whole rest of it to go. It's going to look fantastic, but I can't wait. So hopefully, you know, I don't know, maybe be done like a year. It's going to be a long process anyways. But I'm trying to push it and trying to get it kind of done relatively quick. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you did enjoy. If you did, like, comment, subscribe as usual. And peace out.